Hey everybody, this is Dr. Jeff Crawford and I'm coming to you for your final video update for Education 703. Congratulations, you have nearly almost made it. This is the final week of class and I'm very proud of you for making it this far and, and I know you're going to cruise right to the very end. So I wanted to encourage you this week and give you some instructions about this final week of material that you've got coming. And, uh, and I can't wait to look at your final papers. You do have one more discussion board. It's on Dewey and his experiential learning theory. And so you want to critique that. So be sure you do that. And I want to say you guys have done wonderful, wonderful work on the discussion boards. This has really truly been one of the very best terms I've, I've had in over six years with Liberty University. So thank you very much for your hard work on the discussion boards. Uh, the final paper is a big deal. And so uh, let me talk to you for a few minutes about it. First of all, it needs to be written in APA style. So most of you have done very good with this. Some of you are still struggling with it. So you need to nail the APA style. If you don't know what you're doing there, man, check it out. Make sure your fonts are the right style. Make sure they're the right size. Make sure the margins are correct. Make sure you know how to cite. Make sure you know how to do the reference list. Make sure you know how to do a title page. All those things. Headings, headings, how to, where to put the headings, how to bold them, when to bold them, you know, you know, center, left justified, first level heading, second level, all that review, all that kind of stuff, because this paper does have quite a few he headings in it. So check all that out. The paper is eight pages long. It's uh, your personal view of educational philosophy. So you are allowed to use first person in this paper. So be aware of that. Um, as far as what I'm going to do in terms of grading it, I'm going to stick very closely, I have to, to the rubric. This paper is unique, it's different. You're not going to send this to me through Blackboard. You are going to upload this paper through live text. And I've checked and nearly every one of you has a live text account. I, there was a couple of you that it didn't and a few weeks ago I sent an email to you. So you should be good to go on that. So you're going to send the paper into live text. The paper is due on Sunday, Mother's Day, May 12th at midnight. It's not due Friday. Some uh, people have asked about that. The, uh, the, the, the residential terms conclude on Friday. The online classes conclude on Sunday. So you get a couple extra days through the weekend. So, But, I, man, knock it out, get it uploaded, do it early. And, uh, and there is a rubric that you can see on live text. And that's what I'm going to grade with. I'm going to go through. I'm going to click you know, proficient. I'm going to click you know, basic understanding. I'm going to click needs improvement. I'll put comments in there. And, uh, and so what that means is you need to pay very close attention to the instructions. Um, there are specific headings that are asked for. I'm going to look for those headings. And if I don't see those headings, your paper is going to suffer big time uh, with deductions and grades. So I'm going to look for the headings, and I'm going to look for the material that's being asked for in the instructions under each of those headings. Let me uh, point out something that every semester, every term, I, uh, this is an issue, and I'm going to say it on this video I'm looking for it. I want you to know I'm looking for it. Under your worldview heading, uh, you're going to need to talk about uh, uh, axiology and you're going to need to talk about metaphysics specifically. I want to see those words. Metaphysics, axiology, I want you to talk about those. Uh, under the uh, philosophy of learning, uh, the philosophy of schools and learning, um, there's going to be uh, a section where you need to talk about epistemology. I'm going to look for epistemology. So, um, just be forewarned. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, and then there's very specific instructions uh, the rest of the way through uh, on all the other headings. So I know you're going to do a good job. Uh, write it up. Do a good job, eight pages minimum, and get it uploaded. And, uh, and congratulations. I hope that whatever you're doing this summer, that you have a great summer. Um, I've got a kid graduating from high school, my first son, my firstborn, uh, next week on Thursday. So we got a big week going on. And I mentioned at the front of the class that we we're finalizing an adoption for a little girl in Columbia, an eight-year-old girl whose name is Marcella, going to be our daughter. And Marcella is ready, and we got the phone call a couple of weeks ago. So uh, the, this course ends on May 12th, on Sunday, and on May 19th, one week later, I'm getting on a plane. I'm heading to Columbia to go pick up my new daughter. So that's how I'm going to start off my summer. I'm very excited about that. And uh, so, um, you know, I want to get everything graded and in the books. Uh, I've asked if you could help us out by obviously getting everything turned in on the 12th. Anything that's late before week 8, it, the deadline's May 12th, it's Sunday. And then if you need extra time uh, with a late penalty, you can go all the way to Wednesday, May 15th on that final paper and discussion board. So get all that in. I'm going to grade it. I'm going to get everything posted, and then I'm going to be out of here uh, to Columbia to pick up my daughter. So... Listen, God bless you guys. Uh, you've been a fantastic class. Uh, I wish that we could interact face-to-face. -face. I hope these videos have helped a little bit. It's been wonderful to get to know you online. And if you need anything this week, you send me an email. If you have any questions at all, just ask me, and I'll do everything I can to help you out. God bless you all, and best wishes as you continue on with your educational learning and your goals at Liberty University.